Welcome back to another episode. It's Valentine's Day, so I guess you could say love is in the air. <laughs> Josie, say that for your mans. Okay, fine. Speaking of, do you know what you're getting him? I mean, I have a few ideas, but I think I need some more help. Well, if you're like Josie and are still trying to figure out what to get your significant other, Hannah and I may have the answer. Let's check it out. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th and it is often marked by giving gifts to and spending time with loved ones. Valentine's Day traditions include exchanging gifts such as chocolates or roses and a romantic night on the town. We went to CVS to see what gifts they had in stock for cheap. To start off, you always have to have a nice card for that special someone. And if you're feeling really crafty, you can also just make your own which comes straight from the heart. Next up, you can never go wrong with chocolates, and there's even my personal favorite, a Krabby Patty filled heart. There's also always the classic teddy bear, which comes in many sizes depending on your preference. And lastly, if you're looking for a unique Valentine's Day gift, there are some cool etched sketch pre-made Valentines to give to all your friends. After going to CVS, Hannah and I took a trip to the calf to see what other couples were getting their significant other for Valentine's Day. I'm getting him a cactus and an uh, Avengers keychain and maybe some chocolates, I don't know if I'm feeling fancy. Uh, some chocolate and roses maybe? Um, probably nothing. I'm going to get Dan some sweet tarts. I'm going to get her the Tesla Cybertruck by Elon Musk. I'm going to get him a variety pack of Disney socks. <laughs> I'm getting candy and a card. I'm going to get my significant other probably gift cards and candy. I'm going to get Jack a nice uh, big bouquet of roses. Say it. All right, uh, Peach, what am I getting uh, Hannah for? <laughs> what am I getting Hannah for Valentine's Day? <laughs> uh, probably some chocolate. Well, when I cut it, hopefully this story helped you with ideas for the perfect gift. From WHTV, this is Hannah and Wiley. Wow, love really do be in the air though. Speaking of the air, I could barely breathe when I was on my daily run. Hold up, you run? Yeah, I learned from the best of the best. My buddies on the track team. They just had their New Hampshire Division One meet this past weekend. The indoor track team had a great showing at the New Hampshire Division One meet. If you see any of these students, please congratulate them. Colin Donnelly took second in the 3000 meter and third in the 1500 meter. Jack Taylor took first in the 1,000 meter. McKenna Whalen took second in the 3,000 meter. Ryan Walker placed second in the 600 meter. Boys 4x4 took second and set a new school record 3 minutes and 34 seconds. The team includes Ryan Walker, Zach Valhuli, Owen Parker, and Jack Taylor. The 4x800 teams both placed sixth. Congrats to the winner track. Tyler and Alyssa just throw in some couples that gave some pretty good tips from people around the school. Oh, let me listen to this. Let's roll it. <laughs> Students are not the only ones who have found love in the halls of Winnicunit. Teachers have also found their other halves right here working together, two of them being the Frankors and the Michos. Their love stories started right here in the halls of Winnicunit. We met on the dating app Farmers Only. No, I'm no, no, just kidding. <laughs> so we went skiing with Mr. Myers and his oldest daughter. It had been the second time I've ever been skiing in my entire life. So I did not do well. But I didn't know that. I right. thought they were just inviting me on a ski trip. We kind of met here um, and through some mutual friends and things like that. We supposed to go skiing off on our own. It turned out to be everyone had to ski together because I was just that terrible that I was falling down the mountain. He'd walk through guidance and all the other counselors were like, I didn't think he even knew where guidance was. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, since he's yeah. worked here, I don't think he's ever been to guidance. And yeah. then I'd like see like a coffee on my desk or they're like, oh, you know where guidance is, so. Well, didn't the track team try to set you up with somebody else? Like a different track coach? Yes. <laughs> yeah. While we were dating, but nobody yeah. knew. Wasn't him. 
No. I'd make up reasons to kind of go to guidance and I'd pop in her office and stuff, you know. But yeah, hey, shoot or shoot, you know. With these teachers being experts on relationships, we thought for Valentine's Day we'd let them give us some keys to a good relationship and advice on how to find love at Winnicunit. I have give terrible relationship advice, so. Trust, communication, loyalty, that's a big one. Um, it was quality time, not quantity time, you know, so like when you spend time together, make sure it's, it's you know, meaningful and stuff, and it's not about how much you hang out. I guess I'd say compromise and yes. finding something that you both like so that you can do it together. If you really want something, does it, I don't know, is it really worth getting an argument over? Yeah, when he admits he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful on social media. I feel like being a guidance counselor, there are so many relationships that end because of social media. And it's good to have things in common, but it's also have good things to have separate, you know, like, uh, you know, so you're not with each other all the time. Doesn't always have to be so dramatic, right? Yeah, yeah you're in high school. There's a good chance that the high school relationships aren't going to keep going. And you just got to talk to each other, you know, it's like you got to communicate. If something's bugging you, don't hold it in. It's just going to build up and you're going to build resentment. So just if something's bugging you, just get it out and talk about it. And you don't have to show affection in the hallways. Yeah, that's that one. It's a big one. I don't need to see how much you guys care about each other. It's good to have your own lives too, you know. Um, I know I know kids won't want to play a sport or you know join a club because they, you know their, their significant other doesn't want them to. So I think that that kind of drives me nuts too when I, when I see some control, some controlling issues going on in relationships. Texting is like the worst thing on the planet. So stop like texting each other to to do things. Just go talk to a person face to face. Sometimes the hardest part seems to be sharing how you truly feel about that special someone. I think the best advice that somebody ever gave me is really just need to go say hello. Like just standing there and like wanting to be in a relationship or like wishing you would ask that person out or done whatever, you just have to go say hi. And then just go from there, see how it goes. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, and you know, life's too short, you know. Um, I know I would have regretted if I wouldn't have, you know, made the first move with Jennifer, so. The worst thing that could happen is they could say no, you know, like... And you're back where you started. And you're back where you started. So you took a risk and they said yes, but relationships aren't all smooth sailing after that. So what should you do if you mess up? You just say I'm sorry. I've never had to apologize. That's such a lie. <laughs> Probably just say sorry. I mean, sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. It's just, you know, is... Buy oh. food. Buy food. Yeah. Chips. She's not a big chocolate fan, so potato chips are a good one. Or Chinese flowers. Food. Yeah, Chinese food. Yeah, you don't want to bribe someone, but uh, you know, just you know, saying sorry sometimes is huge. Saying you know, sorry with a little food. With a little yeah. food, yeah. Whether you have someone to celebrate with or not, happy Valentine's Day, Winnicunit. For WHTV, this is Tyler and Alyssa. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. Hopefully some of you can put that advice to good use. Hey, what's your ideal Valentine's Day date? Probably a nice dinner with some jazz music in the back, uh, a nice lit candle. With a face of roses, you know the vibe. <laughs> hmm, that is very specific, but I won't ask questions. Preferably the Winnicunit Jazz Band, actually. <laughs> well, did you hear? A few students are going to perform at the All New England Jazz Festival at Plymouth State. Maybe I can take you there. A number of our students have been nominated and selected to participate in an All New England Jazz Festival taking place on March 5th at Plymouth State University. The students selected are Ethan Hackett on piano, Nolan Duffy on alto sax, Jack Taylor on alto sax, Bronson Grew on trumpet, Felix Tarantina on bass, and Anthony LePetri on guitar. These students will spend the day at Plymouth State University working alongside some of the top high school jazz musicians in the state, as well as working with some incredible jazz teachers and clinicians. I hope y'all are really feeling the love now when it kind of... I know I am. Have a romantic evening, everyone. That is all we have for you today. See you next week. What's up? <laughs> Boys 4x4 took second and set a new school record, 334.74 seconds. This team includes Walker... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? State University. <laughs> Boy!